Hi guys and welcome back to the Boomerang Biker Channel. Today's video is going to be all about QR codes and I'm going to show you a DIY hack that may just save your life. Or at the very least you might get your phone sent back to you if you happen to lose it. If you're interested in that, then stick around to the end of the video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you. Okay guys, so let's talk about QR codes. I'm going to put one up on the screen right now. If you go ahead and scan that with your phone, you'll see that it opens up or gives you a link to the Boomerang Biker channel. So as I said, up until the outbreak of COVID, nobody really knew what a QR code was. You might see them on a box of complex or something like that, but most people just uh, completely ignored them. So QR code actually stands for, QR stands for a quick response. So the quick response or QR code was actually invented by a guy called Matsuhiro Hari and he worked for the Denso Wave Corporation which is actually a subsidiary of Toyota. So at the time they were using barcodes to actually um, keep stock of their inventory and see what was coming down the production line. The problem with the QR, with the, sorry, with the barcode is it only accommodates around about 20 characters whereas a QR code will actually accommodate 7,000 characters and, hence its name, it's a lot quicker to read by cameras as it comes past. So it was actually invented back in 1994 So I checked into a restaurant the other day and uh, like everybody does now I scanned the QR code as I walked in the door and then I stopped to think about it and I thought wouldn't it be good if I had a QR code on me you know in case I had an accident or you know say there was a medical emergency and um, lots of people just fall over they might have a heart problem or something like that so I actually did a bit of googling and I found one or two companies and there was a couple out in the UK where you could actually send them your personal details and they will make you a QR code and send you them in a, a format of a sticker that you could maybe put on your bike or something like that or even on your helmet would be a good idea but the problem with that is you know if you change your phone or your wife changes her phone you gotta reorder a bunch of stickers and that's going to cost you money every time. So then I thought, there must be another way. So I, I did, a, again, a bit more Googling, a bit more research, and I actually found quite a few websites where you could actually plug in your own details, such as your blood group, your wife's um, cell phone, mobile number, email address, you know, emergency contacts in case... Uh, heaven forbid that you have an accident and uh, there are quite a few out there uh, but it's not it's not really difficult to do you might need a few skills for like um, Photoshop or Microsoft Paint or something like that so this video if you stay till the end I'm gonna actually park the bike up go indoors and we'll jump on the computer and I'll show you First off, how to generate a QR code, then how to download it to your computer, and uh, ultimately what we'll end up with is a desktop wallpaper for your phone, and I'll put a, an example up right now. So you'll have that desktop wallpaper on your phone, and that'll be on your lock screen. 
So, as I said, if you do happen to have a medical um, problem, an emergency, maybe you come off your bike or, or whatever the problem may be, whoever picks that phone up, as soon as they press the button to highlight the screen, your QR code is going to be sat there, so they're going to be able to scan that very, very quickly. And uh, most phones now, you don't even need an app to scan a, a QR code. Um, Apple certainly integrated the QR reader into their camera quite some time ago now. So the great thing is they're going to get to your information just like that. So one of the things you'll spot when we do go to the computer is where I position the QR code. I make sure it's at the top of the screen and it's away from any other information like you know the time and the date and your other details and the other thing is you need to keep it away from where your notifications come through even on a lock screen because you don't want that to obscure the QR code okay guys so we'll uh, head off indoors and uh, I'll talk you through the process so uh, stay tuned Okay guys, so we've moved inside and onto the computer. The first thing we're going to need to do is actually generate a QR code. There's lots of websites where you can do this for free, so just go ahead and Google that. I'm using QR Monkey, which I've used before, and it works quite well. So the first area is URL, and you can see the QR code Monkey URL in there. I'm actually going to replace that with my Boomerang Biker YouTube channel. So I've just dropped that in there. And then the next area I'm going to go to is the text box. Once I'm in the text box, I can copy and paste my emergency contact details in there. And we'll just scroll through. And you can see I've got the name, a blood group, allergies, medication, medical insurance, and then my key emergency contacts. You can add other things to this, like a logo. You can set colors and do a bit of customization around your design. But for this demo, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. So let's go ahead and create the QR code. And you can see the code will change. And then from there, I'm going to download the QR code as a PNG file. We can see that the QR code is being generated. It'll take a second or two. And there we go. The code's now downloaded at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Click on that just to expand it. I'll drag it over onto this monitor and there is my unique QR code. From there, the next step we're going to do is use a package called paint.net to actually put together the desktop wallpaper for my phone. Okay, so I've opened up the software package paint.net. This is where I'm going to create a desktop wallpaper for my phone. Um, just a point of interest, you don't have to use this package. There are many things out there that you could use, Photoshop for instance, or you could actually just send the QR code to your phone and edit it using your phone's photographic editing software. I'm just using paint.net because I'm used to using this particular package and it's easy for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a canvas that actually matches the size of my Samsung phone. What I've done is gone into image, clicked on canvas size, and I've put in the width and height to match my phone, which I've already Googled earlier. If you're using a different phone, just go ahead and Google it and set your parameters to suit. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add another layer 
which I've done. And then I'm going to add a picture or a logo just to make the desktop wallpaper a little bit more interesting. You can choose to use whatever you like, family photo, nice scenic background, whatever you want to do. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in a box that says scan me and you can actually find these by googling an image scan me and you'll find lots of images that look like this I'm now going to make that a little bit bigger I've copied and pasted I'm going to drag that over and drop that onto my mobile phone desktop wallpaper and just an important thing to remember is if you've got your phone set for notifications coming through to your lock screen you need to try and keep your QR code out of the way because if you have an accident and somebody grabs your phone and they don't know your pass key then they're not going to be able to get into it and the QR code may be obscured by any notifications. So you can see I'm keeping this nice and high out of the way. The next step is to add in another layer. And we're going to bring in our QR code. And you can see it's a little bit big. So we'll shrink it down until it fits into the scan me box. We might make it a touch bigger. Okay, and there we have our desktop wallpaper. The next thing we need to do is save that as a JPEG and then email it to yourself, open it up on your phone and set it to a desktop wallpaper for the home and the lock screen. So once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this as a desktop wallpaper on your phone. Obviously, I've got a little bit more fancy with my background being black and I've added a red highlight around the scan me box. The great thing about this is even if you've got notifications on your screen, whoever picks up the phone and finds it, perhaps you've lost it or it's an emergency, they're going to be able to scan the QR code and immediately get to the information that you've got embedded in there. So there you go guys, that's been my tutorial video on how to create your own QR code and uh, install it there on your mobile phone desktop wallpaper. I hope you find that really useful. I hope honestly that you never need to use the details that are in the emergency contacts, um, but it's always there just for safety. If you've enjoyed the video, I'd ask you very kindly to give it that big thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't been to my channel before, I'd encourage you just to have a look through some of my tour videos. I'll put up a, a little link up at the top here. Take a look at some of my tour videos and some of my gear reviews. I think you'll find it really interesting. So that's it for now. From the Boomerang Biker. Remember... Ride safe and have a great day.